It's live. Okay, so hopefully everything is working. If you're joining us from YouTube or from Facebook, we kind of put this together. We're using three different cameras here. Um, so this week we're at the uh, Ohio Dental Association's annual session uh, for 2017. Um, it's where they get together to do some continuing education, to make sure they're sharper on their skills. Uh, we're in the exhibit hall, uh, joined by a lot of other uh, exhibitors that are here to demo their wares and services and expertise uh, to the dentists and hygienists and, and hopefully uh, help them solve some things. So just a little FYI about what we're doing. Uh, if you're watching this and you're actually at the session as a dentist or a hygienist, come by and see us. Uh, we're at booth 218, which is when you walk in the front hall up there, just the first uh, pathway to the right a little bit, you know, about seven booths down. We're having a giveaway for over $3,000 worth of stuff. We're giving away an awesome financial plan. We're giving away a real Amazon Echo, the big ones with the good sound, a Fire HD8. I only had about 20 people enter, so great odds if you stop by. Um, so anyways, we're going to get into what we're going to talk about today. Today I've got Tony with me. You guys have seen Tony on our show uh, before. Um, he's uh, our advisor. Uh, that does a lot, especially with newer clients coming in um, and also running the 401k. So, you know, since we're here working with businesses pretty much, you know, half of it, uh, we thought we'd talk a little bit about, you know, the 401ks in general for small businesses and um, some of the mistakes that are out there, some of the pitfalls that people fall into, and some of the things that we all could just do better to have better retirements for all of us and our employees and what so. Uh, so thanks for, for helping me today, Tony, Absolutely. and being on. So uh, tell me, what do you think is uh, a couple of the biggest problems, 401k-wise, small business-wise, doctors, dentists, etc.? Well, one of the greatest opportunities small businesses have is the flexibility in the type of 401k or pension plan that they're going to have. And so often, uh, one of the biggest problems is it's a mismatched uh, retirement plan for them, you know, uh, especially at dental offices where they really have good profit and small offices that have a lot of flexibility. So that's one. But I always mention in a 401k, a retirement plan in general, they're usually the least experienced investors and they need the most help. And that's why it's so important to work with somebody who's a fiduciary like we are because that allows us to really handhold participants in a 401k and give them specific investment guidance and help to them do. yeah okay. and the decisions they make not just how you know not what to invest in but how much to invest in the different opportunities that they have and, and a lot of a lot of financial firms they're not necessarily good or bad but you know they're so big they're trying to limit their risk which is why they won't be a fiduciary not necessarily because they're trying to do bad things right but then that really limits the advisor's ability to help people right with when, the plans yeah and that's we have that great advantage that we are a registered investment advisor we're independent so we created our 401k and we have the flexibility to build it you know, as we new companies would want. We don't have to worry about having a cookie cutter 401k sure. like big organizations have to do because they've got to make it workable for everybody so they make it more simple and in the end, more constrained, less options for participants and usually more expensive. Yeah, I think, I think one of the things that really stands out to me is just the practical things. And if you think about, like if you've built anything or done anything, you know, etc. There's so many ways you could do it, and most people do do the cookie cutter things. But especially with a lot of the employees that may just be auto enrolled or may not be participating, if we would just design a better plan that you know took that into thing that says, you know, when you're eligible after three months of working here, you're auto enrolled in the plan. And one of the things that we run into a lot is most of the people are contributing free tax. They may not even be paying any tax. Why would they need a deduction from their 401k to pay tax on it later? They should absolutely be rough. We can set the plan up to where the auto enrollment is into rough at a certain percent, and then every year it auto escalates to go up. You know, some people need to turn it off because their life, you know, things that happen in life, but I, you know, over half of those people are gonna let it go. 
and, and you know, we get a lot of participants where when we take a plan over, there's like, you know, maybe 50% participation, meaning only 50% of the employees are participating, and the average contribution is like 3 or 4% just to get the match. And really, these people need to be saving like 10 or 15%, even if it takes us 5 to 10 years to get them there. But man, how much more money are they going to have? Right, if they do that. Because and, and I, I like, like to say that, 20% you know? and get them there, right? And so we want to steadily get them up there because it builds better habits and they become much, much more secure in their retirement if they can just start making those little additional contributions as we go along in the years. So, And I think uh, another thing that, that, you know, we don't think about as well, too, is, you know, when we build plans, we build them from scratch. We can take people's uh, weaknesses and the things that they hold as ideals and, and build it into where it's going to work out well for them. So, you know, for example, we manage uh, for most of the people that have their 401ks with us, we have allocation funds inside of there where we manage them for them. And then we put a video out every week. And you can see behind me back here, we build a, a microsite page for everybody that has 401k with us. And then we'll send the email out to all the participants, but when they come here, they log on to their company, and generally we'll put their logo up there for whatever company it is. We'll have a video that explains to them why and how um, we took care of their money so that they're not going to make big mistakes with it. And then when I said ideals, I mean, we can even make uh, managed portfolios in there that are ESG, which is environmentally and socially responsible and good governance. So, our, you know, if you've got a practice that, you know, is really built on Christian values or um, we can even do uh, Sharia law for, for Muslim-based uh, faith-based as well too, and then make it a package to where we're helping to take care of it because the average investor, you know, you know, what is it, like three to six percent per year behind the market averages. If they would do an allocation fund where we're just taking care of it for them, we can get them up to there. So not only may we be able to save them money, we're not just trying to build a better mousetrap. We're trying to fundamentally do what's right for people, and that's the difference because a lot of people come and say, "Oh, you know, we do what everybody else does except for better," and that's not our thing. Our thing is we're different. That's why it's Rubble Financial, because we don't care what everybody's done in the past. If it's not going to make a difference in people's lives and make things better, we're going to build something that's good for your business, for your employees, design that we want the way that we want to do it so that everybody's going to be better off yeah. in the end. Yeah, most of the, the 401ks out there are kind of the same, just in a different name and a few different investments, but the way they are configured and built, it's the same. And the biggest issue you talked about, they participants fail the market, investors fail the market by like three to six percent because they're making bad decisions on a regular basis and often because they're not working directly with an advisor and that problem is so prevalent in the 401k uh, and that's where we're able to help them come in when other advisors can't do the, the hand holding that we can do and it really helps. Yep. So one of the things we did this morning is, is go to a little thing uh, where they are telling about like when we're trying to you know talk to doctors or business owners, what could we do to get through uh, that would be less invasive or what so? And I think one of the people mentioned doing lunch and learns, and, and we've done a couple things like that in the past. But I think we're really thinking about um, expanding that. So if you're a local business, again, we're mainly in Columbus right now. If you're a local business in Columbus, you'd like us to come out, buy your staff lunch, and you be there and listen to what we could do 401k wise and what's different and then even give you as the owner or the head um, uh, HR or management uh, the office manager you know an idea of how things could be improved you know etc you know give us a ring um, our number is 614-441-9605 uh, we'll also put it below in the comments uh, we, when we get a chance to, to catch up after this so you know give us a ring or an email uh, or you know if you're watching this through Facebook or YouTube message us um, we'll get right back to you um, and, and do that for you guys. And aside from rebelfinancial.com, you can go to good401k.com to get our contact. That, that's our specific 401k information. We try to be really transparent. So if you want to go there and just check it out, go to, like like Tony said, good401k.com. So, you know, kind of moving on to a couple other things that we've been doing, pioneering. Uh, we're fee only. Fee only means that we don't take any commissions or kickbacks or anything. And, and so we've been trying to engineer uh, ways to help people more with some of their benefits around uh, that traditionally have been only DIY, do it yourself, um, or also uh, just commission based. You know, so you know people that aren't fiduciaries to you or what so. Um, 
So we're, we build out a program to where we can help either businesses or individuals with their HSAs. Uh, so that's health savings accounts. And a lot of us now have high deductible health insurance because the costs have gone up so much we need to you know, try to contain costs how we have. And so you put money in these accounts where you get to put it in, take a tax deduction, and you get to take it out tax free later. But most people will just leave it in an account with a bank or a credit union that's earning less than, what, a quarter of a percent. And so it's not gonna grow at all. Um, uh, we, we are trying to build a program out, and I think we've pretty much got it to where it's really good, uh, through uh, a, a company called HSA Bank. Uh, that has an agreement with TD Ameritrade, and that's that's kind of where we help, where we manage most of our investments for our clients. Even though we can use Fidelity um, and uh, Vanguard and Mid Atlantic Trust Company and TI Craft, but uh, with this, you know, say we keep what we need in the HSA to pay the high deductible, but then say over the last ten years we've been able to build up twenty or thirty thousand uh, extra inside of there, which we'll probably use at some point when we get older, you know. Um, we can actually get that in an investment account and get it invested just like all your other investments at no additional cost, plus that household with everything else we're doing for our clients, so a lot of times it's a lot cheaper than you could do. But again, most financial firms don't manage HSAs at all. Um, and then we go from you know, a 0.2% less rate of return or less you know, to upwards of five to nine percent per year, depending on you know exactly our time period that we're investing in and how aggressive or conservative you are. That's significant. I mean, oh, yeah. you know, twenty. Well, go ahead, it, no, and we're not even. You know, HSAs are the best uh, tax vehicle there is for people. You don't pay tax going in. You don't pay tax on the growth, and you don't pay tax coming out. And what folks fail to realize is. When they retire, they're going to have significant health expenses, and that's why it's so important to build this up now, not just for today's health spending, but for future health spending especially. It's going to be your biggest variable cost in retirement, so you need to be thinking about that at a young age even, but build that account yeah. up. It's another great vehicle to put retirement money away in. Because if we get a pre-tax deduction, then all the growth in it and everything at the end, we get to take it out tax-free. I mean, you do this smartly, and we grow the money to two to five times what the principal amount that you actually put into there. It could be like the government's paying for 40 to 70% of all your health expenses later on. So, like, this is not something that, you know, I should get to later or whatever. This is super important, and we tell a lot of our clients, you should be maxing out your HSA every year, whether you think you need to use the money or not. Don't be trying to think about how much expenses you had, like when you had an FSA and it was use it or lose it. Because everything you build up gets to go to the future and get that tax-free growth for later. Right. Um, so again, we, 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 we always gotta preface ourselves, you know, uh, every individual is different. So, you know, talk to a financial advisor, talk to us, um, sometimes we'll say this, uh, general blanket things, but again, we're a little bit different than the journalists that can just tell everybody to do the same cookie cutter thing. It's not the same for everybody. Uh, another thing that we're doing uh, is 529s. We made uh, recently made an agree agreement with Utah's 529 plan. So it doesn't matter to a certain extent what state plan you use. You can use the money in any state. Uh, but obviously, if you're in a state that gives you a tax deduction to use your use their plan, uh, we want to take that into consideration. But Utah's plan is consistently ranked you know, number one by uh, saving for college and Morningstar, et cetera. Uh, it's a great plan. They've made a great thing for fee-only advisors to where we can come in and manage those for our clients as well, too. So we're really excited about that, you know, because again, the average investor, you know, make them four or so percent per year. We can, you know, get them up to six to 10%, depending on how lucky we are with the time period and how aggressive you are as an investor. I mean, man, it's a significant difference because those 529s work like Roth IRAs. Uh, meaning that no tax deduction, but all the growth as long as we use it for accredited uh, college expenses or you know accredited higher education expenses, uh, you get to keep 100% tax free. So that's awesome. So we need to get it in early and grow it as much as possible, or it's not as big a benefit. Uh, so that's something else that we're doing. Uh, there's not a lot of uh, other fee-only firms in the country that do that. And again, we manage with discretion on all of our stuff, which means if you're busy with work or your family or whatever, and the markets are really up right now with the Trump rally going, then we can take some of those off the table and lock it in for you. You know, we're back and you know, January, February 2016, when the market was really down, you know, we were rebalancing and, you know, take some of that conservative that had done well and buy the stocks at a better price. And most people are too busy with their lives, they don't mess with it.
right? You know, so this is what we do. So, anything you kind of like to interject as we're wrapping up, Tony? No, I mean we've talked about the great opportunities that people have to get ahead in their financial well-being. Four hundred one k's, HSAs, and five twenty nines. And especially the last two, we're just not seeing people take enough advantage of those. And that's why we work hard to find the best way to make those the most effective. And the HSA, how we do it, it's as, as effective as it gets. And working now with the Utah 529 is as effective as the 529. So, I mean, we're always trying to do what we can do to really improve the financial Help. well-being of people. So, you know... Uh, we need to take advantage of those, all of us. So we hope you do that and you can use us to help you with that. Yep. If you have questions, you need anything, reach out to us anytime. Uh, again, our number is, this is easy to remember, 877-54-REBEL. Um, you can email us uh, at support at rebelfinancial.com. You can go to our website, rebelfinancial.com. we got lots of other websites too, but there's usually a chat thing up there. I think we have everybody in the office right now because Jonathan's on vacation and we're all at the trade show. Uh, but usually you can chat with us on there. Uh, so we're here to help, whether you're a client or not, we will help you, and, uh, and hopefully uh, you will be a client sometime in the future. So uh, have a super weekend. Thanks again for tuning in with us, um, and uh, catch us next week. Uh, we've got a, a great lineup coming up that uh, William's been putting together, so uh, join us then. So have a good weekend. Have a great weekend.